Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Venice. So at the end of the previous episode, we got the option to choose our pantheon and um, mostly in comments you agreed with me that um, Goddess of Beauty would be probably the best choice here. There are some other suggestions. Uh, God of War, I think, then God of the Sea, which is not uh, that obvious, but it could work here but i just don't think that uh, without the ability to settle more cities we would get enough from it i was told uh, like a small spoiler that there is a fish somewhere uh in the range of the city so we would get something from the first part of that uh, of that um uh pantheon as well but even with that uh, well it's first not exactly what i want as usual my problem with uh or I have a problem with Pantheon that doesn't give uh, culture or um, or science. I know that Goddess of Beauty doesn't give that either, but it gives it indirectly. Indirectly, it gives the artist, and the artist then, uh, or the great work that gives culture. It's slow, but uh, we end up with the culture in the end. And... Uh, uh, the speed at which we get the engineer really compensates for this because that's just an insane production boost very early. Uh, and I think there was one other suggestion. Uh, go good of all creation and just forget about uh, our own religion. Just take advantage of these extra yields until someone basically flips our capital. It's an interesting suggestion because for quite a while we'll get a very decent yields, but... Um, yeah, again, uh, I think the uh, Goddess of Beauty is for these, like, one city challenges and that when is gameplay. It's just so strong that um, I'll go with that. So, let's take it. And now we are getting Engineer in 56, but remember, we'll be getting, um, not so anti justice quite soon. In 8 we get the authority opener and then we go justice. So uh, they'll speed up the engineer. Mm, okay. Let's uh, move our warrior. We're gonna just sit here. We need 8 turns then we start killing barbarians. As for the worker, we are done with the road here. So let's build this road now. Uh, or pre-build this road. That's how I should say it. I'll be taking a bit of damage, but that's fine. What the fine? Um, what's the turn? 46. So it's gonna be done in 59. Uh, I'll try to remember and stop the work at like 55 or something. Okay, where do we send our pathfinder? Oh, and by the way, about the canal that we could possibly build here, I have a conflicting information because someone said that, uh, yeah, it works when it's Citadel and Fort. Then someone else said it doesn't work. Um, also, there are suggestions that I could use Kuala Lumpur for a canal, but I'm pretty sure this wouldn't work. I think if Kuala Lumpur was in the middle, then if we got the citadel on both sides, then it might work. I'm actually not even sure about that. But I'm pretty sure we can't get the canal here. It might be possible here. Uh, but again, it's uh, not guaranteed. So... We'll see. We can just try it if we have time and the resources to do it, just to test things out. But uh, even if we can't make the canal work, I don't think that we really need it. Yeah, it would be better if this wasn't in Land Sea, uh, having access to the ocean, but uh, it's not like this completely destroyed the game. There are quite a few suggestions that I could actually, or should actually restart this. I don't think so. Let's just play what the game gave us. Uh, the starting location isn't that bad, and uh, yeah, as I said, we'll just play what uh, with what the game gave us, and um, we all just have to overcome the obstacles. I'm actually looking forward to this. I see this as a challenge, not really as uh, something that would uh, uh, that would like force me to reload or restart, not reload, restart. There is another pantheon. Korea is worshipping what? Ah, we have animal husbandry. Um, let's check this pantheon. Goddess of love. Fade golden age points every time citizen is born. Hmm, this... 
scales with RM game speed. But hard to say how strong this is for the AI. I don't really think this is that good. But what we can do... Can we check it here? No, we can check it here, I think. Or Trojans. No, Beliefs. This is what we want to see. Um... Who already has a Pantheon. So, Combatics. I think that was the first one started. It was actually started by Siam. I have a feeling they may have some uh, uh, some religious wonder uh, in their territory. Because they started it really, really early. So, our race. Korea just started one. And, yeah, the most dangerous is the Ethiopian one. But Ethiopia is quite close. So, we'll do our best to shut them down before they can snowball out of control. Okay, that's that. And also, uh, we should check social policies. And as told, how is Bodica still without uh, a single social policy? But I was told that most people are starting with the tradition here. Well, are they? How the hell is it possible that only two people have social policies and they have two and the rest doesn't have anything it almost seems like we can't see it because they only have the opener as you can see here we have the opener but can't see it in the description so it's probably that all these people also have only opener and we can see it here because uh these two have more than just the opener okay that would make sense But, well, enough talking, I'll just try to play a bit faster. Uh, wait, we got uh, some new stuff. Uh, which way do we go? Can we jump across here? We can... Oh, more barbarians, sure. I hope we have access to them from both sides, so that we can destroy the camp. It's gold, it's culture. So, what did we get from Animal Husbandry? Cattle on both sides, horses... Actually, these are not horses, this is over here. Hmm, that's not gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that's not gonna happen. Um, and here we have double sheep. There are horses on the other side. Let's check city states. Uh, there are horses here, so when we take Antonarivo, we'll have that. Uh, nothing here, nothing here, and we can't see the whole territory of Cahokia, but uh, it doesn't look that promising either. Okay, well, Harar has four horses. And if we take Harar, we're gonna keep it. Because you would then use it as like a base of operation against uh, Constantinople. So we will have some horses. And if someone starts the city here, there are some more horses on this side. We probably should let someone start the city in this area. Because uh, that would give us two more copies of Jade and therefore secure the monopoly. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, that's the barbarian camp. Okay, next. Let's get the extra vision. That is gonna help. Check what's here. So we can get to the camp from both sides. Good. And keep scouting. Next. Everything. Four more turns. Then we finally want to start uh, killing barbarians. Uh, there was a quest. Kalumpur wants Kahokia bullied. Kahokia is a straight route. Hanoi seeks a great general. Hmm. Hmm. It's a tiny bit of food. We could try and demand tribute from Kahokia before we. Um, before we snipe them. Also, there's a suggestion that I may want to take Sophia first to get the Great Barrier Reef before Mount Kilimanjaro. But I think in this terrain, when you check all the hills, the uh, ability to move freely through hills will be huge. So I think I will go for Kahokia first. And I'm thinking, before we take it, we just send all units that we have by the time. 
see if people have let's see five maybe six units on their border if that will be enough for them to be uh to be um, scared and if they are we gonna uh we gonna bully them to get the reward from Kuala Lumpur and uh, uh, the turn after that we will use our great merchant to take them so there will basically be no penalty for us in this action next just need to get trade to get our great merchant okay, so it seems that we don't have to worry about anything or anyone coming from the north that is good news. Wait. What is this? That's the peace treaty. Now we finally get our social policy. Another pantheon. Celts are worshipping. Brun. 100% increased range combat strength. That's of cities, I guess. 25% growth. 8 culture when a citizen is born, scaling with era. And for faith, it's actually the, one of the weaker ones. I mean, that growth is uh, really strong. Uh, anything that gives uh, AI growth is strong, and this is a lot of growth. The question is, will they be able to handle unhappiness? Yeah, it could have been worse. It's the growth is decent, and they will be a pain in the ass to conquer because of the extra strength. But uh, from what they have available, I think it could have been worse. Now we take our authority opener. That's extra production. And uh, more importantly, well, both is important. The damage against or strength against barbarians. And um, the culture, of course. Can I one-shot him? No. So 36 turns, and it's turn 53, I should probably stop the work, if I don't, I'll just forget. Um, let's see how long it's gonna take to get the next social policy. It'll be 36, so 36, that's what, that will be turn 89. Um, let's see how fast we can get it, I'll try to remember it and, and check the time when we get the social policy. Next... Uh, you want to work together. I think we can do that. I doubt that we would uh, attack her with the next, uh, like, 90 turns. The first target is 99% um, with 99% with certainty going to be uh, Ethiopia. Hmm, how are we going to attack the camp? I don't want to attack across the river, so I'm just gonna do it this way. And I'm thinking maybe sending the Pathfinder is not a horrible idea because sometimes even brutes with just two warriors are a bit of a pain in the ass because they, they tend to spawn reinforcements uh, like right after you start attacking them. Then we have Babylon start worshipping God of Expawns. Interesting. No one going for God of War. Yeah, I think God of Expands is one of the weaker options. Okay, now we go Granary to get at least some growth. 101 gold. We again, want to get to 130 as soon as possible. What is this? There is a springtime. We read that again. Plus two gold, plus one food from plantations, plus three faith from Arkin. This could be strong when there are enough plantations. They seem to have olive as their base resource. But they would have to get more than just some olive plantations to really snowball this. Hmm. We'll have to see more of their territory. But again, could have been worse. Babylon and Ethiopia are no friends. Wait, it's Babylon, not Byzantium. Okay, fine. They can be friends. As long as uh, these two are not friends, it's fine. Because they will have to start fighting. Uh, which way? One, two... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four there. The next turn. Actually, maybe we can attack this turn already. Shall we? No, but let's um, take the one more heal. I know that I'm giving the camp time to spawn the reinforcements, but I think if I start attacking, they can spawn it anyway. And I'm hoping that this way I'll be able to just destroy it in one turn, although it's unlikely. Nope. Ah. Wait. Much money, 119. So two turns, then we get another warrior. Oh. Hello, hand axe. Okay, 45. Hopefully the Handex focuses on the Pathfinder for a while. We'll have time to heal up our warriors and then kill it. Keep going and keep building. So this is going to be turn 71. Again, on turn like 68, I'll stop the works. How long until you become a normal citizen? Five turns. So it's going to be faster. Let's see, let's stop him on turn 64. Next. Okay, good, he's attacking the Pathfinder. And that's a well-timed promotion. Can I just kill him like this? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Next. And this will be useful. Because we can already start working on the plantation so that the worker does something useful. Not that the pre-building a road isn't useful, but I would rather improve one of the tiles. Uh, now, the question is, do you want to start working it instead of um, the jade? I think we still want the gold. Speaking about the gold, I can forget about the warrior. Um, Why the hell does Ethiopia has three pathfinders here? I mean, what is here to explore? Um, Indonesia has Earth Mother. Can we see uh, the pantheon? So tradition, 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 tradition. Okay, that's interesting. Seems that people won't be that interested in um, wars. Well, I mean, in some cases, they probably won't have a choice. This is just too close to the capital uh, for them to be to stay at peace. But um, I'm not sure if this is good or bad thing. Because last time, the biggest problem that we had was uh, tradition Korea. And I kind of needed people to expand aggressively. So that we could take cities and uh, basically get to their capitals that way. The, the worst thing that could happen is that people just go like four cities and try to go as tall as possible, don't expand anymore, and they leave us on an island in the middle of nowhere, and uh, if we want to expand, then we'll have to send our armies far away from our territory. That would be a pain in the ass. But, well, we'll see. It's definitely starting as an interesting game. I've never seen everyone go the same um, uh, the same uh, social policy. But this also means they'll probably all try to fight for the influence over city-states, and uh, that is gonna hurt them. If you have, like, two people fighting over the city-states, then usually what happens is that uh, each of them gets city-states on their half of the continent, let's say, and then they're investing some resources to fight over a few city-states and it's not that costly but when everyone is uh, is going for city-states and they are or flipping them then it's so exhausting for their for their um, economy so this uh, could actually hurt all the AIs Ok, 
Okay, so we have a grand array. We'll be growing in 78 turns. Oh well. Uh, we have what four units? Let's get let's get another warrior. I think what I want to get is like two groups, always two warriors and uh, uh, an archer with uh, those two warriors, and they'll just keep running around the map, killing barbarians. Will have to be enough. I'm hoping that the city state won't kill or one shot the hand axe. I'll be able to get a kill for myself. Although it's quite, uh, it's not gonna happen with the pathfinder here. Fortify. Let's just go for the camp. Although it may happen. Should oh, come on. That was my culture. Because we have another uh, camp spawning for us. How are we gonna do it? Uh, if I attack, I'm actually not sure that I'm gonna get a kill. Even with all three attacks. So let's just wait for the uh, Pathfinder to move away. Next, am I forgetting something? I have a feeling that I forgot to do something important. Probably not. Okay, let's block this tile. Attack, attack. I can get the kill this way. And... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attack the camp. This guy can probably explore a little bit. Are there any camp? There's a camp here, so that's where we'll go and then we turn here. Uh, we have what, like one turn? Yep. Next. There's military theory. Now, one option is to rush, const or rush, go for construction next, and uh, then rush masonry. And get the terracotta army as soon as possible, because that would increase our unit cap, which is quite important. The other option is to get is to go trapping trade, and get the uh, get the merchant earlier, and I really want to get archers. So I'm thinking if I go trapping, may as well go trade after them. How long would this take? Two, three. Problem is, if I don't go masonry, um, am I gonna even have a chance to get the Turk of the army? I think just. I'll just pass on trade for now. May seem weird, but we don't really need that uh, merchant super early. I mean, what are we losing when we are not uh, taking a city-state right away? I don't think we are losing that much. We, uh, if anything, we are giving the city-state more time to actually develop. And then we take a 
city state that has more buildings, maybe better buildings, more workers. I definitely want the trapping. And then masonry. Hopefully by going trapping now we still will have enough time to, to get masonry. Because I'm not sure if I go with uh, masonry right away that I would have enough social policies. Uh to start working on the terrac of the army right away. We may as well get trapping and then masonry. When we delay it by those 11 turns, I think we will have the social policies. Okay. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cancel the farming and go Temple of Artemis. It's not a super useful one there, but um, uh, it gives uh, extra engineer points, so we want all the engineer points that we can get. And um, uh, production for wrench units, it gives a free herbalist, and herbalist is gonna be decent with our start. Uh, it's not much that we get from it, but it's something, right? It gives food by itself, we are working some jungle, so that's a little bit more food again. And uh, we do need every bit of food that we can get, so yeah, sure, why not? Also, it gives faith, it gives culture. I think it's worth the investment. We should get an engineer to speed it up. And by engineer, I mean the manufacturer from the engineer. Next. Uh, okay, this is what we wanted to hear here, but um, we won't join the war. I just, I'm just glad to see that uh, there is a problem between them. Okay, you get shock and some healing. And we have a quest, excellent. So there is the social policy, uh, and we managed to speed it up by like 19 turns. So that's like 50%, I think maybe even a bit more than 50% faster than it should have been. So this is the strength of authority opener. It, it saves us so much time. Um, uh, yeah, it just speeds up the snowball, right? It, uh, we get just this like 18 turns faster or 19 turns faster than it should have been. So we'll be getting all the production so much faster and we'll be able to use it for the Temple of Artemis, which otherwise we wouldn't be. So that's why I think the authority is just so strong. It's not just the scaling production, it's the, it's the barbarians early and then the science and everything. It just snowballs uh, in so many ways that uh, if you are not going authority in the game where you are going wide, you are making a mistake. If uh, Tradition is really basically just one city challenge or Venice. Uh, and progress sucks, that's just my opinion on the three... Uh, three uh, starting social policy trees. Okay, so justice and um, 32. Hmm, I'd really like to start working on it, but I don't think that I really can. 19, 18, yeah, that makes no difference, but it makes 18 down from 31. Yeah, let's do it. I want that uh, manufacture as soon as possible. There's another barbarian camp. Excellent. And we have some quests. That's one, two, three. What are you targeting, guys? You're targeting that. You're targeting... Oh, you're targeting this. Why would you do that? You have a camp right next to your border. Although this camp might already be gone. I think they destroy that. And you are targeting this one. Okay, this one can wait. I don't think that anyone can really steal this camp from us. Uh, first, we're gonna take care of this one. Next. Uh, this will have to be enough. I don't want to wait for it. Look at that. Everyone wants to kill barbarians. Or wants us to kill barbarians for them. Go. Go. 
go. You'll probably stay here for a bit longer and go this way. Next. What's the reward, by the way? General points. Yeah, sure, we have a quest to get the general, so I don't mind getting free general points. Next. I don't want to go to the camp until I have the reinforcements. Probably have to move them manually. So, how does it look like? 71, 90 gold. Now we are waiting for the engineer. And I actually thought that we would get him faster, that we would get the manufacturer to speed up uh, the temple a little bit. But I think we are building it so fast that. Uh, no one should be able to steal it. Hopefully. Wealthiest people doesn't really matter. Okay, fortify for now. Next. I want to have vision on the camp in case someone starts attacking it. I want to at least have the chance to go for for a steal. Uh, there is some more food. Okay, how long? Four turns for the border growth. Uh, it's definitely going to be something we can improve. Let's stay... Let's place our bats and move to the sheep. With my luck, I think the border will grow this way because that's the file that's farthest away from the worker. Uh, but yeah, if we are lucky, we'll be able to start improving the sheep right way, and that would uh, give us just a some extra yields earlier. Not a huge difference, but I mean, why not? Let's try. Uh, please don't kill this guy. Thank you. I'll gladly take my culture. Because now it's important to get all the extra culture we can from barbarians. Uh, the third social policy usually is not a problem, but the fourth one takes forever. So, now we need to kill as many as possible. Wait. Uh, which way do we send you? Let's send you here. I'll go here, you can heal once. And it worked! Excellent! Uh, this kind of sucks though. Oh well, it's more culture. It just slows us down a little bit on that camp. Uh, next. And he's attacking the Pathfinder, great. So our warrior is not taking damage. Move, move, move. Next, now we finally get to archers. We don't have the gold for them, but I think after the temple, I may even build one archer before barracks. Uh, did we get anything interesting? Uh, one, two. Oh, there are actually two tiles with fish. Huh, that would make the goddess of the sea a lot more interesting. I mean, the difference between having one tile with fish and two tiles with fish with that pantheon is actually pretty significant. Oh well. Um, even if I knew this, I wouldn't uh, uh, change my mind. I think Goddess of Beauty is just so strong. 
Anything else? What else does it reveal? Deer. No deer for us. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so that's another camp gone. Let's check if this one is still here. It's unlikely, but may as well try. Wait. Next. I think if there was a camp here, we would have uh, barbarians coming from uh, for us uh, or to us from the south. And um, I'll just wait for the next turn. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, you guys will heal up. There's our reward. We need what six hundred points for a first general. No, 300. This will actually be pretty close. We get all the rewards. Let's see. This one is... Oh, it's only 46. And the last one... Oh, there are actually two. This is a new one, I think. Ah. Let's click. Come on. Show me. They both want to kill this camp. 69. 141. This is enough for a general. And then the general reward is culture. Hmm. Well, if we keep getting quests like this, we may as well get some alliances instead of uh, eating all the city states. If eating means with the uh, merchants or just conquering them. We get an alliance, there's no point in taking them. Okay, let's attack. Oh, there is another city state. Hello. Next. We may need an archer for that camp in the north. Let's see, let's go here. Geneva, you are religious hostile. Why is everyone hostile? Well, not that it really matters. When they are hostile, we'll just eat them. Geneva targets nearby encampment. Oh man, so many points. Uh, you want to give me gold? I'll take it, thank you. Pyramids are gone. Who built pyramids? Surprise, it's Ethiopia. Where are we? Lost. And another city state. You are militaristic neutral. This could be a worthy ally. Do you have a quest for me? You do. Uh, you want to camp on the other side. And there are some Pictish warriors now. So I don't think we'll be able to take this camp. Pictish warrior can probably one shot that camp. Just have to make sure that they don't get to this camp. Next, and he wants to try. I mean, I can stop him easily, but I have to keep an eye on him. He'll go north. Next, please don't spawn a unit now. Yeah, he's going for it. Uh, I said, don't spawn a unit. Interesting. He's running away. So 
Are you gonna stay or are you going somewhere? Oh, he's staying. Let's see what happens. And there's another camp here. Next. It's gonna be another attack. I think there's our temple. Great. And our engineer. So the engineer, we can just use it on the jade. Now we can get our barracks, and how does it look like with growth? Three, three turns. Finally, we are stacking enough extra food from buildings uh, that uh, we don't have to work too many food tiles to grow at reasonable pace, I mean. Next. Are you kidding me? attack now I have to wait the turn okay, let's grow a little bit before we work the guard house again and actually wait Let's get Archer first. Next. Do they expect uh, the camp to spawn another Barbarian so quickly? Uh, let's attack him. This is good timing. Can we build something now? Well, the best we can do is build a mine before we get construction. Sure, let's do that. Keep healing. What is this Byzantium say? I'm now friends. Sure. Yes, we can work together. Because when we work together, there is a chance they'll be giving us stuff. So, when I kill him, is the camp gonna spawn another Handex this turn? I hope not. Just one turn. We block this tile and uh, it's fine. Eleven. Oh, yeah, sure. Don't you there. Okay. I think... This will be all for this episode. I think we did it now. We built one there. They're only 32 turns away from another social policy. How does it line up with the uh, masonry? Hmm, maybe... Yeah, I definitely have enough social policies, even if I didn't go trapping. What do we get from Terracotta, Terracotta army now? Except that we get some problems, because you'll get over our camp. We get a warrior, we, we would get a... Archer and we get a Pathfinder. Can we get more somehow? I'll check if we can maybe buy a horse. 
I would train one, I think, Chariot Archer. So we would get the free Chariot Archer and then we would maybe get rid of a few warriors. We got three Struck Cap. Why three? If we go plus three and pop the general for a citadel, let's say on the jade. Then maybe we could handle all the extra units. It's plus one from barracks. That's nine, ten, eleven. Well, maybe we will have room for all the units. Oh well, we will see about that in the next episode. For today we are done, so I hope that you like this episode, I hope that you can join me next time again, and until then, have a good time, bye bye.